Welcome to Orion's Viking escape room. Everyone who enters this room can both have some fun and learn some interesting things where Poland and Norway have something in common. We focused on the semi-legendary group of Vikings who built their fortress in Jomsborg on the Polish island of Wolin. The fortress was built in 960s and was lasted until 1043, when it was destroyed by Magnus the Good, Norway's king. It was inhabited by fearless Vikings who formed close brotherhood with their own rules. The information about them is half historical and half legendary. Some facts are known thanks to historians and archaeologists, but a lot comes from legends called sagas. If you want to find information about Polish-Norwegian historical events, you have to search carefully. In our escape room, you also have to search for clues to find the key to open the door. The central character of our Jams Viking escape room is the King Harald Bluetooth. He was the king of Denmark, but also became the king of Norway for some time. He is believed to build the fortress at Jamsborg. His nickname, Bluetooth, was given to him after his death. He died in Jamsborg. We found the story of King Harald Bluetooth especially interesting because of the origin of the name and logo for the Bluetooth wireless technology. Jim Kardak, an inventor of the Bluetooth, was inspired by a story about King Harald Bluetooth, who became famous after. He had managed to unite all different tribes in Denmark and Norway to communicate. In the same way as the King Harald Bluetooth successfully united different tribes, the Bluetooth technology enables connecting different devices wirelessly. We used the, this information to prepare a task about 11 strict rules that the Jans Viking had to follow. We also left some other hints about their life. For example, information about the Jans Viking warriors who fought for the Polish king Bolesław Chrobry or an imitation for the Kurmsun disc bearing the name of the Viking King Harald Bluetooth. In our Jams Viking escape room, we put special attention to the atmosphere. The lights are dim, the objects are simple as if from the Middle Ages. The TV screen displays the northern lights because the inhabitants of Jomsborg stronghold were people who had come from the north. In addition, we put a few letters or even words in the ancient Viking alphabet. That is runes in different places around the room. We also wanted to create the atmosphere of fear. The Yom's Vikings were very skilled and brave warriors and they made their enemies feel scared to death. We really let our imagination run wild when we used the painting Scream by a famous Norwegian painter Edward Munch to make another task. The feeling of terror that seems to cry out from the painting perfectly matches the state of mind of people who became the Yom's Vikings prisoners. When you enter this escape room, you read a message that you've become prisoners in Jomsborg fortress and your lives are threatened. You must solve some task to let yourself free, which means that you must find the numbers that will unlock the box with the door key. If you make a mistake and open a wrong box, you will see a mask that is a modern version of the face of Scream from the painting and which has become popularized by Craven's horror movie Scream. In this way, you should start feeling scared because you might not find the key.